Hi, welcome to another video on my channel. Uh, I'm Seagulls, just uh, heading out on Lanco River today to find a new spot to launch my kayak, which I found, which is here. Um, seems pretty chill, good spot in Lane Cove. And I've just gone fish around the area just to see what it's like. And I'm getting onto a really good flathead using a Eco Gear uh, SX40. And then I catch a lure off the bridge, like I snagged on it caught the lure off the bridge and then I catch a flathead just around the edge. Not, not a big not a big fish, nothing too wild, but uh, if you like scenery, uh, a little bit of fishing uh, might be the video for you, so stick around. Otherwise, best of luck with your future endeavours. Today out in Lane Cove River, trying to find somewhere to launch my kayak. Um, if you're on Google Maps, actually that looks pretty good. If you're on Google Maps and I saw a bunch of of piers, the Epping Road. The real goal is just to uh, find somewhere to put our kayak, really, in some of the less nice kayaks. They're not very fast, so paddling a long way is a bit of a killer. So under the bridge, we'll probably just prospect for a very short period of time and all these pylons. Probably just give each one a cast or two as we move along and then maybe just keep moving. Oh man, I'm going to break this if I keep smashing it against creatures. I'm really impressed it's not broken already because I'm absolutely walloping that. Now we've broken it. Or have we? Oh, it's just fouled up. This eco gear is just amazing. When I've used other cheaper lures, it's kind of like one bash against a um, against something hard, and that's kind of the end of your end of your fun with that lure. But this seems to just be amazing. Normally, it's the bib that would break. So a bit of a blind cast over this way. On, 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 yes. Just turn it up slightly. Are you a monster brim? I just don't know what the likelihood of catching this guy is. Okay, we can see a little bit of leader. Oh my god, what is that? It's a monster flatty. I saw the white underside of the body. Just need this guy to get really tired. I've got my rod up really high just to keep it out. That's a big flathead. And this is not what you expect when you're bloody <laughs> casting at the bridge and you end up with this. Okay. What's that? That's... That's 50. That's awesome. Alright, well, we'll use our nice glove to hold this guy. Oh. Uh, I'm not really too worried about getting spiked. Yeah, that's great. 50 centimeter flathead. Now, where are you hooked? Yeah, they often just mangle whatever it is that they grab onto. That's awesome. We'll get him back as quickly as we can. Oh no. Gonna have to get this guy on the operation table, I think. Hold him down. This is not 
the nicest thing to be doing, but oh, there we go. And he or she is ready to, ready to terrorize more bait. That was sick, that was a mad fight. That was awesome. That's the kind of thing that you look for, or fish for at least. Okay, so he's just floated down there. But I would like to just see him swim off. There we go. Kicked off over there. Great. Man, that's awesome fun. Glad I had this glove. Which I will put in the link in the description. So that's on 2000 Daiwa Ed. Um, this is Daiwa RZ reel, which is like a $30 reel. Four pound Nomad braid. 10 pound leader and an SX40, which is kind of like the broom fisherman's choice. Anyway, before you're distracted from broom fishing. Man, like that wasn't the biggest fish in the universe, but I'm like shaking right now. And after I finish working this side, I'll go to the other side. Oh my f god, what are we stuck on here? We're stuck on some kind of f someone else's fishing line, that lure. Oh my god. Oh yes. Did we get both of them? I think we did. The action's all f***ed up. Yes. Yes. Oh man, look at that. That's the kind of thing you dream of. Oh. Slim Swim. Uh, looks like Midnight Oil. One eighth of an ounce jig head. Man, we're gonna... Now we're gonna go and try and catch that. We're turning this into a video where we catch a lure with a lure that we found. Okay. Over to the other side and we'll keep using this because last time I was here, I ended up getting many, many snags. I'll, just, I'll see you on the other side, really. other side the wind is actually a lot better on this side which is maybe why it doesn't look so choppy if I can get here have a couple of casts at this front edge oh man we're gonna have to like jump I think the leader is probably like a 15 pound leader I think my 10 pound is good enough um, it's not frayed or anything because that flathead didn't even get it in the gob I think there might be a path down here to my right. Oh, that's awesome. Hmm. Not sure if this has done anything for me getting up here. Ooh, I think we actually got a tap there. We did. <laughs> We shall go back to the marina. Oh. Okay, round two. And the beauty of this, I can work so much of the river. Sent him up. On, 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 flathead for sure. Ah, oh, shook me, I cannot believe. Oh, I can't believe we just dropped that. On, 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 on. Ah ha ha! 
greedy little bastard. I knew you guys were out here. I knew it. So, that's fun. Time for you to get the glove. Ha, I'm immune to your spikes, buddy. The way his spikes are sitting, though, they're like, they seem to be a bit further up the head than I'm used to seeing. Give you a bit of line, so give you a bit of a measure. I reckon you're like 34 or 5 ish, but you are in one of the nastiest waterways possible, so you get to go home. But that's that's it. This is a magic lure. We, we pulled it off the bridge and it's got us a flatty. Try and put you out over here so you don't distract anyone else. Man, he, he had a couple of goes at that. What a goose. He's just licking at the tail. Then he comes in and he for the kill. Uh, so if you got this far, uh, I'll probably end the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Just a little, little clip. Trying to scope out a new spot. Came up with the goods of a couple of flatties with really light gear. So quite a lot of fun. I think uh, I'll might come here tomorrow on my kayak. Just considering how nice it is, the wind is meant to be quite high today.